infants who probably had PTSD, but they didn't have they a name didn't know for it. it yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Then Gen Xers were raised in a generation where I keep saying Gen X are the first generation in history whose parents were always number one. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're not like, yeah. wow, so who was last? If all of you are classmates. Yeah. Yeah. so true. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And yeah. the pressure was on merit, yeah? Mm-hmm. yeah? They were expected to raise perfect children, juggle this new world because mm-hmm. they're all, you know, trying to raise uh, well-mannered children. And that was a lot of pressure. Yeah. Then they're also a generation that raised their siblings. True. So they're the ones who have a lot mm-hmm. of bile where you're yeah. thinking, excuse me, I changed your diapers and yeah. you're now here attempting Giving to be my boss yeah. yeah so i mean he doesn't sit well then millennials poor generation oh, that's man. called <sighs> entitled <sighs> me first you yeah. get. so they get a lot of uh, uh nini crap yeah but True. i keep saying also the first generation that will be poorer than their parents mm. and it's like For sure. the game is rigged already I know, yeah but it's because they're living in an age where you're trying to juggle so much you're in debt like mm-hmm. expectations are high yeah. not to say it wasn't high for other generations but it's just added pressure plus we'll lie to that we are the leaders of tomorrow thank <laughs> this, you this tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know because we've been waiting waiting it's waiting true, and true. but now it's tomorrow is today i yeah. know yeah. i'm about to date myself but there was a song so many oh, yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. and i'm thinking we read we did everything everything the song said yeah. but yeah. here we are you Still promised us jobs struggling yeah we don't have anything yeah in fact i keep saying it's not even funny there are a lot of millennials that when you is you ask them what are you i'm a stay-at-home millennial which is not even funny a stay-at-home yeah. millennial <laughs> wow stay-at-home moms because you've tried everything that yeah. the yeah. most educated generation and True. yet they don't have jobs yeah? yes Absolutely. and the jobs they have are not uh con- commensurate to what they have studied mm-hmm. right? True. then you have gen z the first generation to be raised with smartphone Yo, can you guys imagine being a teenager nope. and you're always swiping, I comparing cannot. yourself? I no. no. Yeah? You know, at times we don't, like, we forget we had, like, we waited for TV to start. Yes. We were, I mean, like, we had normal, ch- we played, Kati, Blood. Yeah. We, we were outside. Other. The internet found us along the way. Mm. Thank you. But we had, for most part, a normal childhood. And then we discovered, ah, you can go online. Ah, you Thank can go you. on Facebook. Mm. Ah, you can swipe on your phone. Thank and then you. even then, it was still in small, small increments because you move from like, you know, CD you know, to a yeah. five yeah. 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 to yeah. iPod yeah. to yeah. Nina. There and now they have everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Everything and all at once. And then I come in and it's telling me, no, 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 this is who you should be. This is your identity. Mm-hmm. This is how you should think. Mm. This is how your body should be. God yeah. forbid, is that a pimple I see? What? Remo- I mean, yeah. so... Filter. Grow- yeah. And but there's no filters for real life. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, right? Yeah. So you grow up with all that and it's a lot. Mm. So when you think of all these generations the way we've been cultured, now imagine all the things we are dealing with. Whether you're a Gen Z, a baby boomer or Gen X, based on the generation we were raised and how we're cultured, we all have trauma that we are trying to deal with. And that may look like childhood trauma, things we've never dealt with. And then it then translates into the way we are relating. I keep saying a lot of people said, I do not to love, but to trauma bonding. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, man, that's, that's, that's deep, man. Yo, that's yeah. heavy. If we start dissecting <laughs> whether it's love or trauma bonding. Yeah, That's like deep. I was drawn to your dysfunction because that looked familiar. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's you know, normal for yeah. me. I thrive yeah. in, there, in the in, chaos. Yeah, in spiritual <laughs> terms, um, people oh, actually wow. use the term familiar spirits. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like um, there's a familiarity that you are drawn to someone. Exactly. And you end up thinking that that commonness that you in have is, is love. It, but it's actually oh, not, wow. you know, it's and it's not. crazy. You're, you're so spot on, David. Yeah. And I keep saying, you don't realize how traumatized you are mm-hmm. and people until people are shocked by what you've normalized so that's when you sit and you're there like wait do you realize it's not normal to be angry all the time mm-hmm. do you realize your anxiety is not okay mm-hmm. i keep saying some people today are in senior management you could be a ceo or whatever it is but you're not happy why mm-hmm. because up until now your life has been i'm going to show them yeah I'm going to uh, prove a point. Yeah. Yeah. You've been yeah. trying to get back at a parent, at a t- teacher who told you you'll amount to nothing good. Yeah. So it takes a lot of inner work for you to sit down and unpack who mm-hmm. am I, what was my childhood trauma, and begin healing. Wow. And the healing process is a lot of work, and it's not linear. You know how you know I'll start from here, go to form one, go to form two. Yes. Healing is not like that. Mm. You can have had a series of perfect days and you're doing well, then you spiral back. Mm-hmm. Then healing also, I also all I'll say trauma was not your fault, but healing is your responsibility. It's your responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. 
at some point we have to take um, accountability for ourselves and then figure out how to better our own lives i absolutely agree with that and we'll dissect how we can do that um when we come back we'll get into the music in just a little bit but also if you have any questions that you'd want to ask josephine use the hashtag morning fix at nation fmke at mariam bishar at david a uk of course antiwa antiwa nisunjuk (laughs) and josephine are you on twitter what's your handle oh yes miss kare miss kare K-H-A-R-A-Y. Yes. Alrighty, that's you've heard it. If you have any questions for her, please tweet them at us and we'll get back to them once we come back. You're hanging out with DJ 